Look at this. The birds have been at my crop again. We're going to have to do something, Little Red Tractor, otherwise I'm going to have nothing left. I need something that I can leave here in the field that will keep the birds away. Got it. Come on, back to Gosling Farm. Stan, nice morning. Well, it was a nice morning, Stumpy, until I found that the birds have been at my crops. Oh, dear, yes. I saw them from the windmill the other day. Stumpy, could I ask a favour? I don't suppose you have a few old clothes lying about, do you? Just a few things I could have. <laughs> All my clothes are old, Stan. <laughs> I don't think they'll fit you, though. They're not for me. Could you drop them off at the farm when you have time? I'm going to build a scarecrow. Oh, charming. Still, Elsie will be pleased to see the back of them. Thanks. See you later. What was that? Oh, look. Clean overalls, too. <laughs> what was that? Made me fall off my ladder. I've no idea. What was that? <laughs> right, time to start work on my little scarecrow. What was that noise? Hatch? Hatch? You all right, lad? Whatever that noise was, it must have frightened all of the animals in the area. Come on. Let's go and investigate. See you later, Patch. <laughs> ah, Walter, there you are. Ah, oh, Stan, the very man. Have, Have you, you heard, heard the... Oh, after you. Have you heard these strange bangs this morning? Oh, heard them? I fell off my ladder the first time I heard them, and poor Nicola spilled oil all over her overalls. One more go. There. That should do it. Ow! You mean those bangs? Yeah. I wonder where they're coming from. I don't know, but I wish they'd stop. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll go and see Mr Jones. Maybe he can shed some light on this mystery. Look at you! What have you been doing? Bags! Big ones, too! Threw me right off me bike! You look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. <laughs> oh, oh. Those bangs are getting on my nerves. Nice cake, though. What a surprise. How's this old tractor getting along, then? He may be old, Mr Jones, but he's fully restored now and running like a dream. One of these days, Stan, you should think about getting yourself a state-of-the-art tractor, like Big Blue here, twice as big, twice as strong. <laughs> Actually, I didn't come here to discuss tractors. I was wondering if you knew anything about these big bangs that have been going off all morning. Ah, yes, that. My latest gizmo. Come on, I'll show you. It's a gas-driven bird scarer. Hmm? Let's off a loud bang every now and then and keep the birds away from my core. <laughs> Fantastic it is too, I can tell you. <laughs> well, it's not just the birds you've been scaring. Half the neighbourhood has been scared by it. We have to keep up with technology, Stan. They'll get used to it in no time. Can't run a farm without making a little noise now and then. <laughs> well, I was thinking of making a scarecrow. They're a lot quieter, you know. Technology, Stan. You mark my words. It's all about technology. In fact, I just bought a new rotivator. No. Oh, you poor dear. I'm going to find out what's making those bangs if it... Oh! oh! If it's the last thing I do... Elsie, where'd my hat go? 
What are we going to do for clothes, Stan? This scarecrow is going to need clothes. And a hat. Well, hopefully I've already sorted that. Stumpy said he would bring along some old clothes. He can wear those. Great! One of Stumpy's old hats is just what this scarecrow needs. Ah, I bet that's him now. <laughs> oh, dear. I'd better go and see what happened. Stumpy? Oh, whatever is that infernal racket? It's Mr Jones. He has a new gas-fired bird scarer. <laughs> well, it's more than the birds he's scaring, I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> we really should do something. Yes. Do you know, Stumpy? I might have an idea. A gas-fired bird scarer? Well, I've never heard the like. Oh, that explains it. He's just phoned up to order another load of these. <laughs> Great, because I've had an idea that may lead to a little peace and quiet around here, but I'm going to need your help. Anything if it means an end to these big bangs. Count me in, Stan. What's the plan? What if the next gas bottles Mr Jones buys were empty? Then the bird scarer wouldn't work, and I may be able to persuade him to use a quieter method. Something more neighbourly. <laughs> I like it, Stan. I like it. We could make sure we knock the empties off his bill so it wouldn't cost him anything. So no harm done, really. Done. done. It looks really good. Yeah, and look, no birds. We've done a good job there. Hey, and no big bangs either. Everything appears to be back to normal. <laughs> Mr Jones. Uh-oh. Do you think he knows? What are you going to tell him? Ah, I hadn't thought about that yet. I see you have your scarecrow finished. He's working too. Look, no birds. I, on the other hand, have a field full of them. I happen to notice the distinct lack of bangs this morning. Ah, yes. You see, now, I... what could have caused that? Well, the thing is... I I... check the pipes, I check the control box, nothing wrong there. Oh. So I call the repairman and you'll never guess what he finds. Uh, empty gas bottles? Correct. <laughs> empty gas bottles. So I call Nicola at the garage and she tells me the whole story. Well, you have to admit, your bird scarer was making an awful lot of noise. Yeah, you've made your point. And maybe it was a bit much. So, <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> perhaps these scarecrow experts of yours might uh, make another... You bet! We'll have to get Stumpy to give us some more of his clothes. Well, that's very kind of you to ask. The old-fashioned scarecrow seems to be working. Uh, fair enough. But if the birds come back, then the bangs come back. OK, back to work, everyone. Come on, little red tractor, back to Gosling Farm. Morning, you lot! It seems a lot quieter this morning. Yes, I think everything has turned out pretty well. Oh, here! That old scarecrow looks like me! Anyhow, now at least I get to ride old Nipper here without those bangs going off all the time. <laughs> Take care now. Oh, no, not again! <laughs> Little red tractor, did you do that on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this works, Little Red Tractor. If it does, it will take all the back-breaking work out of planting potatoes. Hiya! Hi, Stan. What are you doing? Hello, you two. You're just in time for a demonstration. Are you ready, Little Red Tractor? all over your farmyard. This was just a test. We're going up to Spud Field later, where the potatoes will fall into the furrows we've ploughed. That's really clever. Stan, 
Yes? These potatoes are kind of funny looking. These are seed potatoes for planting. Can't you eat them? Well, not yet, but it doesn't take them long to grow into eating potatoes. So, can you paint with them? Paint with them? Mum was going to show us how to do potato printing, but she's run out of potatoes. I'm sure I don't know. You can take some and give them a try. Thanks, Dan. Thanks. See ya. See you later. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and get these potatoes planted. Mister! Come on, is that your best shot? <laughs> Morning, Mr Jones. Getting in a spot of exercise. Good to see. Good to see. Ah, yes. I'm testing out my new tennis machine. With its help, zah! It will not be long before I am top of the league at the tennis club. <sighs> Never gotten to tennis myself. Running's my game. Born to run, which reminds me. Cramp. Must get going. Can't have the muscles cooling down. Danger of cramp. Got to keep moving. Quite. Must run. Hmm. I guess I really should get on too. Oh, if only there was an easier way to plant potatoes. Ah, oof! That's it. I think I have just had a brilliant idea. That's it, little red tractor. Nice and straight. This is taking no time at all. At this rate, we'll be finished before lunch. Oh, what on earth? A potato? Hello, Mr. Turvey. Oh, hi, Stumpy. Looks like the same thing happened to me as happened to you, struck by a potato. Potato? <laughs> kind of funny looking. Hmm. Oh, just my luck. As soon as we get called out to a breakdown, we get a flat tire. Don't worry, big fella. We'll have you fixed up in no time. What was that? A potato. A potato? Yeah, a potato. A spanner tatty. I know what a potato is, Dad. I'm just surprised someone's throwing them at us. Throwing them? You mean, you mean we're under attack? We are under attack! Take cover! I need to get... Hold up! Hello. What's going on? Potatoes. Mm. Eh? Potatoes, Stan. Someone's been throwing potatoes at us. They're seed potatoes. Oh, I thought they were kind of funny looking. They're like the ones I gave to Ryan and Amy. But I can't believe that they would be throwing them at people. No, not my kids. No, but perhaps they know where these have come from. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and ask. <laughs> See you later. That's See you. you. Hmm. Still not quite right. Hmm. That's got it. Oh, yes. That should do the trick. May as well give it a full test. Ah, that's not right. Hello, Stan. I owe you my painting. I was about to ask if you knew anything about these flying potatoes, but you obviously don't. Where are they coming from? I don't know, but I think we should get inside. It's getting dangerous out here. Come on, little red tractor. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. Almost there. There's it, girl. You got it. <laughs> Still got a little of the old magic. <laughs> Just give me a little more time to get this wheel back on. I can't believe we're getting pelted with potatoes. Someone got it in for us. <laughs> Still not quite right. <laughs> what the? Some fool is throwing potatoes at me. <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> I'd take cover if I were you. Nicola and I are under attack. If it's any consolation, everyone's under attack. It's not just the garage. Potatoes are flying all over the village. Nice dodge, little red tractor. Right, that does it. 
We're going to get to the bottom of this. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. All done. Good work, Nicola. I'd better get off to that breakdown. I'll keep guard here. How about that? Good stop, little red tractor. That was close. I wonder what this is all about. Where's Mr Jones? Ah! Mr Jones? Stan? What are you doing? Hiding, of course. Some fool is throwing potatoes at me. I think that fool is you, Mr Jones. What? This, um... um this thing? Ah, you mean my projectile potato planter? It takes the back-breaking work out of planting potatoes, you know. Well, it seems that it's been shooting potatoes all over the village. It's caused chaos. Oh. Um... Ouch! Did you see that? that? That will be Walter defending the garage. He's been batting the potatoes back all day. He doesn't know they're coming from you. Oh. So it's, um, it's definitely my fault, then? Yes. Uh, I, uh, I think I may have been a bit silly. Hmm. I was only trying to make potato planting a little easier. Well, we've done ours, so why don't Little Red Tractor and I give you a hand? You... you'll help me? Sure. On two conditions. Anything. You have to load the potatoes into our machine. Absolutely. I said anything, anything at all. You just have to ask. And you have to go round to everyone and tell them that you were responsible for the potatoes today. Oh, do I have to? Yes, or we don't help you. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Mr. Jones, more potatoes, please. No, oh, this is ridiculous. Why do I have to do all the heavy work? Hurry up, Mr. Jones. Put your back into it. Those potatoes won't plant themselves. <laughs> I'll tell you what, little red tractor. Planting potatoes has never been easier. Oh, my back. Ah, that should be plenty. At least enough to give you a good wash patch. <laughs> now, I know you don't like it, but you're starting to smell. So, let's get on. Patch? Oh, don't tell me. He's run off. <laughs> Save me, little red tractor. <laughs> what are you two up to? I've got to hide from Ryan. I'm pretending to be the beast of Bubblebrook. <laughs> I thought you would be too young to have heard that old story. It's one of our favourite scary stories. We're getting ready for our camping trip. We always tell scary stories when we go camping. Camping, eh? Can we camp on your land? Mum says we can go camping. As long as she knows where we are. So can we? Can we, Stan? Of course. I'm having an evening in, so if you need anything or get scared... I won't get scared, but Amy might. I will not. <laughs> well, Little Red Tractor and I will be here if you need us. Great! Thanks, Stan! Right, now where is that dog? I guess he'll be home when he gets hungry. Come on, little red tractor. I need to get a video for my evening in. Mom, Big Blue, this new muck spreader works a treat. Hard to believe that this smelly old muck can be so good for the crops. One field down and one to go. Uh, 
I really shouldn't do this, but we'll leave the spreader on, and it will save us some valuable time. No one's about. Come on. Morning, Mr. Ch Whoa. Ah, Off we come. Oh, I can't see a thing. It's all in my eyes. I... Oh, oh, that's made it worse. Oh, Mr. Jones, when I get hold of you... Ah, oh, 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 nettles! Oh, ow, my hands! Oh! oh, why, 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 when we're so close to home? Oh. Oh. What? Nah, it can't be. Oh! It is. It's the... It's the... It's the Beast of Babblebrook. And it's coming this way. Look, we've got to get out of here. Oh, please, Rusty, please! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Look, if you don't move now, we're going to be the Beast of Babblebrook's lunch. And you're the main course. Oh, you little beauty! Right, let's split. Hey! <laughs> Sounds like Rusty. Walter, are you there, Walter? Here you go, Stan. Chad Twinkle's new film. I've been looking forward to seeing this one. There's a great scene where he has to jump onto a runaway tractor. The Beast. I I've seen the Beast. The Beast of Babblebrook. I've just seen it. You can't have. That's just an old story. It's real. I've seen it with my own eyes. Oh, you must be mistaken. Well, I'm not taking any chances. I'm locking myself and you, Nicola, inside the garage. Now, come on, Rusty. Perhaps your dad did see something. We'll go check on our cows just in case. Now, one more load should cover it. Hold on. What on earth? No, it can't be. It is. It's the... it's the... the, the beast of Babelbrook. Oh, dear. Dear, dear me. Right. Now what to do? Ah, uh, yes, that's it. Hide. Must hide. Hide till it goes away. Come on, be blue. Hello, ladies. Well, they all seem fine. Let's get on home and see if we can bath that dog. Strange. Why would Stumpy leave Nipper here? We'd better tow him out of the way, but I wonder where Stumpy is. Hello, you two. What's up? Mum won't let us go camping on our own tonight. Walter told her he saw the Beast of Babblebrook. <laughs> oh, you know there's no such thing. We know, but Walter went on and on about it. Now Mum sort of believes him. Why don't you ask a grown-up to go with you? I'm sure your mum would be fine with that. Um, maybe. I'd come along, but I've still got to give Patch a bath. What about Mr Jones? Try asking him. OK, yeah. Come on, little red tractor. Let's get Nipper home. It was monstrous. All fur and teeth. Yeah, yeah, and claws. Fur and teeth and claws. Scary, it's very scary. Here you go. Two loaves of bread and ten tins of soup. Lovely. Right, I'm off to hide until the beast is caught. I suggest you do the same. Cheerio! Mr Jones has got the right idea. Quick, Nicola, come on, get inside. Both as bad as each other. Looks like he's busy. Let's ask him anyway. If that's the beast, there's no one here. Go away! It's us, Mr Jones. Amy and Ryan. Oh, well, you two shouldn't be out alone, not with the beast of Babblebrook roaming the countryside. There's no such thing, Mr. Jones. Of course there is. Now go home directly and don't stop to talk to any strange monsters on the way. But, Mr. Jones. Home! Grown ups are really weird. Oh, I can't believe it. This day's getting worse. 
Patch. Patch. Have you given Patch his bath yet? Not yet. I've got to catch him first. What did Mr Jones say about the camping? He's too busy hiding from the beast. <laughs> Look, I've had an idea. What if you camp here in the farmyard? Here? We can put your tent in here, which means I'm seconds away. And if I park Little Red Tractor right by the side, he can keep an eye on you. Grant! Don't worry, I'll stop your runaway tractor. Oh, Chad, you're so brave, so fearless. <laughs> then there was a scratching at the door. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And when the old lady answered the door... <coughs> what was that? The beast or Babble Brook. I'm not kidding, Amy. There's something out there. <gasps> oh. Amy, it's the beast. Yeah, right. <gasps> it is. And it's heading right for us. Get behind, Little Red Tractor. Help us, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> what? Don't... Oh. What's going on? This red tractor's caught the beast of Babblebrook. Sounds like he's caught something. But what? Stumpy? Stumpy? <laughs> you wouldn't believe the day I've had. Oh, I even managed to lose Nipper. Nipper is safe and sound. Ugh, what is that smell? Um, well, that'll be me. I do pong a bit. You know... I think it must have been you that Walter saw Stumpy wandering about the field. <laughs> Stumpy is the beast of Babblebrook. Little Red Tractor saved us from Stumpy. Ha! <laughs> huh. I reckon he did a good job keeping an eye on the pair of you. He was really cool. You're my hero, Little Red Tractor. 